For the purpose of instruction and demonstration, we've just used one litre of water in each of these two glass mixing bowls. I store my water in the fridge overnight so that I know it's at a constant temperature and doesn't vary throughout the year. You take the pulse batter flour and mix it as you would an ordinary batter flour. However, as soon as you start to mix, you can see it expands significantly. You can see the difference on the video of the two different batters. Both bowls contain one litre of cold water. It rises up rather like a souffle and if anybody has made their own bread it's just akin to when you leave the bread mix to prove after you've added the yeast. In the batter bucket which I made earlier this as you can see still has an uneven surface as the batter is still proving although once you whisk it back to a smooth consistency it loses some of the volume but not all. As you can see there's also a significant difference in colour of the two batters. The batter on the right is a traditional batter flour and the batter on the left is the pulse batter flour. Based on the equal amount of mix in these two batter tins I will be able to batter 25% more fish in the pulse batter flour than I would by using a traditional batter. This means that there is a far greater yield from using the pulse batter flour mix. I'll now show you the difference of frying using pulse batter flour when coating the fish using rice cones and not using rice cones. I use rice cones because the batter I use is applied very thinly. Other shops may, use, may wish to have a thicker batter but this will affect the fat content. Dip and coat the pulse batter flour mix Hold above the batter tin to allow the excess mixture to drip back in the tin. Place into the hot oil in the fryer. I have a timer on my fryers, you may not have, but I cook mine for four minutes. Now that the fish is cooked, I will take it out of the oil. Using a draining rack, allow the fish to stand and release any extra oil, which, when using pulse batter flour, will be reduced anyway by up to 46%. As an added benefit, pulse batter flour is also gluten free, so this means that you can use it as your normal everyday batter and also offer it to celiacs if you are currently operating as a gluten free shop.